Namaste and welcome back to my channel. Nadi Shodhan or the alternate nostril breathing is a pranayam or a breathing technique that helps to cleanse and purify the subtle energy channels, nadis, inside the body so that pran or the vital force can flow through these channels nice and smoothly. It is a very beneficial and rewarding practice even if it is just practiced five minutes every day. And the reason I decided to make this video today is because the energy of the moon is still around us tonight. And when there's a full moon, the moon and the sun are exactly opposite each other. And this pranayam, Nadi Shodhan, helps to balance out the lunar and the solar energies within us. Now let's try to understand this practice a little better before we practice a few rounds together. According to yoga science, it is explained that there are about 72,000 nadis in our body. And Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna are the three main nadis. Ida and Pingala run on either side of the body, along the spine, and Sushumna is the central energy channel. Ida nadi ends in the left nostril, while Pingala ends in the right nostril. It is also explained by um, the yogic science that the energy flow through these two energy channels, Ida and Pingala, is not always equal. So it'll be more dominant in one side and then it will switch at approximately 90 minutes. So 90 minutes it'll be more dominant on one side and then it will alternate to the other side. And during this transit, where, when it is transferring to the other side, there's this short moment when the energy is drawn into the central energy channel. And Sushumna draws that awareness inwardly and creates that feeling of quietness, of calmness and balance within us. Now, how does this affect our energy? How does this affect our activities? Ida, Nadi, the left nostril, is associated with the right brain hemisphere, which uh, is associated in turn to the moon, the lunar energies, which are more uh, feminine in nature. So spirituality, emotions, uh, creativity, it's all related to the right brain hemisphere. While Pingala Nadi, so the right nostril, is associated with the left brain hemisphere, which associates to the sun, the solar energies, which are more masculine and warming in nature, so more analytical and active. So that's the more dynamic aspect of our consciousness. How it affects our um, activities is that um, the more challenging actions or physically active um, uh, activities um, or even arguing or analyzing something will be more active when the Pingala Nadi is dominant. So the energy flow through that Pingala Nadi is more dominant. On the other hand, chanting mantras or spiritual practices, even artistic practices like painting, dancing, singing, or even visiting spiritual places will um, be more prosperous, will prosper more when the Ida Nadi, the left nostril, is more active, right? So the Nadi Shodhan uh, practice or technique is great to remove blockages in these subtle energy channels, but it is also very beneficial for our nervous system because it calms our nervous system. It is very soothing for the nerves. And it is also a technique that heightens our concentration power and heightens our self-awareness, both of which lead to a more meditative state. And eventually, it leads to that union of both the energy channels so that the energy flows through the central energy channel, leading to that calmness, that balance within us, that inner peace. How, how do we practice and when is it best to practice this? Just like any other yoga practice, uh, on an empty stomach would be ideal, but this technique can also be practiced on a light stomach. Wear something comfortable that does not restrict your breathing and something that allows you to sit comfortably. So you can either sit on the floor or on a chair. And uh, practicing this early morning is great, but you can practice this anytime during the day, even before bedtime, because it does help to calm your mind, okay? Um, after asan practice, so after the physical um, posture uh, practice, 
and then before the meditative practices or meditation is what is recommended. Now, what are the contraindications? If you have a severe headache, or if you have a running fever, flu, cold, blocked sinuses, um, extreme fatigue, or even a history of seizures or seizure disorders, you must avoid this practice and consult your doctor before that. And heart-related problems, if you have heart-related problems, you want to avoid any kind of breath retention. And even then, I would recommend that you um, check with your doctor, your physician, before practicing this breathing technique, just like any other yoga practice. Now we will be practicing three rounds of Nadi Shodhan. The first one just to get used to that alternating between one nostril and the other. Then the second round I will add a count. So I will make the inhalations as long as the exhalations. And then the last round we will do with the exhalations one count longer than the inhalations. When you make the exhale longer, it helps to relax a little more. Okay, I will be skipping the breath retention, which is the last step, because I recommend that you do that when you are physically with a teacher so that he or she can guide you and correct you if needed. All right. Now, for this practice, you're going to sit up nice and tall, create that long line of energy through the spine. And then with your right hand, you're going to bring the tip of the index finger and the middle finger to the base of your thumb. Pinky, ring, and thumb are nice and loose. Okay, the left hand can just rest wherever it lies comfortably on your thigh or on your knee, and you can join the tip of your index and thumb if you wish, just to create that loop of energy. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to turn the right palm towards us and just get used to this motion. So closing one nostril and then the other. So you're just gently pressing into that little cavity in your nostrils to close that side of the nose. All right. You can begin to gently close the eyes, relax all the face facial muscles. And then we're going to close the right nostril, inhale through the left nostril. Close the left nostril, open the right, exhale. Inhale here. Close, open the left, exhale. Inhale, close, exhale, right. Inhale, close, exhale, left. Inhale, close, exhale, right. Inhale, Exhale, left. Release. Take a big breath in and out. And blink your eyes to open when you're ready. Good. So we will move on to the next round. So just bear in mind if at all you feel dizzy at any time, just take a break, stop, just listen and watch the video and then you can join whenever you feel ready. I do also invite you to just Gently tuck your chin slightly towards your chest for the second round. So once again, close the right nostril. Let's inhale through the left nostril for three, two, one. Close, open the right nostril, exhale, three, two, one. Inhale here, three, two, one. Close, exhale, left, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one, close, exhale, right, two, one, inhale here, two, one, close, exhale, left, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, close, exhale, right, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, close, exhale, left, two, one, and slowly release, take a big breath in and out. Blink your eyes to open. And let's start with the last round. So I'll make the exhalation one count longer than the inhalation. Right? 
Let's close the right nostril, gently close your eyes. Inhale through the left nostril for three, two, one. Close, open the right, exhale for three, two, one. Inhale three, two, one. Close, exhale left, four, three, two, one. Inhale three, two, one. Close, exhale right, three, two, one. Inhale here, three, two, one. Close, exhale left, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Close, exhale right, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Close, exhale left, three, two, one. Last round, inhale, three, two, one, close, exhale, right, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, close, exhale, left, four, three, two, one, slowly release the hand, take a couple of full breaths in and out through the nose, feel that breath as you inhale, Feel that breath as you exhale. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, blink your eyes to open. I hope you're feeling good after this practice. I recommend that you do this about five minutes to begin with, and then slowly you can move on to seven, nine, ten minutes. Let me know how you feel after you do this practice. Um, let me know if you have any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. Do write down uh, your questions in the comment below. Please share this with whoever uh, could benefit from this. Do give my video a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to see more of such videos. Thank you very much for watching until the end and I will see you again very soon. Namaste.